Hi, I'm Pauline from the Rio Grande Jewelry Tech team, and today we're going to be working with Gold Filled and talking about the best practices when using it in your own studio. So let's get started. Gold filled fabrication metals and findings allow you to design with the rich colors of gold at a fraction of the cost of solid gold, while offering longer wear than gold plated pieces. But because gold filled has a thin layer of gold sheet over a base metal core, rather than solid gold all the way through the metal, working with gold filled requires some special care to keep the gold layer intact and unmarred. Here are some tips to help you start your next gold filled project. When storing your gold filled stock, use tissue paper between each piece to protect against scratches. Scratches can be difficult to remove without exposing the underlying base metal layer. Cover your work surfaces with a clean flannel cloth while working on gold filled material to protect the gold surface layer from your bench pin or hard edges on your working area. Handle gold filled material with a clean flannel cloth. The outside layer is carrot gold so it will not tarnish as quickly as sterling silver or base metals. Regardless, gold filled stock should be stored in a dry place. You should never wear gold filled in the shower, in a pool, in the bath, or even in the ocean. Tarnishing elements tend to act very slowly in the absence of moisture. You can also store your gold filled materials with anti-tarnish strips for extra protection. Keep cutters sharp. Bending tools should be smooth and non-marring. Be very careful not to scratch or damage the gold layer if your project requires cutting gold filled material. If your design will leave cut edges, consider how you're going to cover the brass core. Leaving the core exposed can make the substrate layer tarnish quicker. Pen or bath plating is a simple way to cover exposed edges. Use extra care when soldering gold filled material. Be careful not to overheat the metal. You want to avoid any fire scale on the gold layer. Any fire scale, blemishes, or scratches can remove the gold layer and expose the brass core. We recommend 14 karat plum yellow gold easy solder as a good color match for yellow gold filled material and 14 karat easy rose gold solder for rose gold filled. It's best to avoid heavy finishing to remove fire scale. A barrier flux such as Stopbox 2, Cuprinil, Fire Scoff, or a prepared solution of boric acid and methyl alcohol is a must for any soldering operation, but especially crucial for gold filled material. If handled properly, gold filled pieces should need only light polishing with a final finish compound like Marauded Orange and a soft balloon buff. You can also use a blue sunshine buff. Over polishing or using an aggressive compound can remove the gold layer, so be mindful during this step. A rotor tumbler is also a great way to finish gold filled material. We recommend using steel shot when tumbling as it won't abrade and won't remove the gold layer. But keep in mind that tumbling and steel shot will not remove any scratches. We recommend a blue sunshine cloth for general cleaning and brightening up the surface of a finished gold filled piece. Its non-scratch micro abrasive is less aggressive than the original yellow sunshine cloth. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us.